Montessori channel. Thank you so much for checking in again. So today I created this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. It's from her new palette, it's a peachy blue combination. I don't really know if it suits me, but I just thought I'd try it out. <laughs> Something different. I do not have the palette, which is so annoying. I wish I did. They do not ship to Germany. I do not know why. Today I used things that I already had to create this look. Um, I just filmed the eyes because I thought I don't want to bore you. I've already done my foundation and contour routine on this channel. It'll be quicker if I did the eyes. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, then just press the button down below. That would mean so much to me. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my social media, Instagram and Snapchat, they are linked down below. So you can check them out if you want or not. Let's get into the look. Okay, okay, so I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Custard and just placing this on my eyelid as a base. And I'm just going to spread it out with my fingers. And to fixate that, I'm taking the Laura Mercier's Translucent Loose Powder on a big fluffy brush so that we have a nice smooth surface for our eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and a MAC 217 brush and I'm going in with the colour Peanut Butter as my transition colour and just blending it into the crease. And the key is just to keep blending till you're satisfied with your colour. I'm now taking my favourite palette again, <laughs> the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and taking the shade Real Gar on a 221 MAC brush and just going into the crease. I keep my eyes open so that I can feel the eye socket. It kind of looks gross and it feels gross but I tell you it's the best way to just stay in the crease. Just go back, forth, back, forth and try to layer the eyeshadow, keep going in with more so that the colour gets darker. And this is a smaller brush so the colour comes out slightly darker anyway. And like always, take your time and have patience. And what I also like to do is lift my eyebrows so I can really get in there and see what I'm doing. So like I said, just keep layering and layering until you have the intensity that you really want. My camera's out of focus quite a lot and I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm really sorry. So now I'm taking this Weaver blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges because they can tend to look harsh. Just keep blending out the edges till they get nice and soft. I'm taking the Chanel Les Ombre 4 palette, please I'm so sorry I'm not good at French, and it's an ombre shade in a peachy colour, and I'm mixing this with the MAC Fix Spray on a flat brush, and just patting it all on top of the lid. The colour comes up more intense because it's wet, so, and I find the colour stays on longer. I kept layering it because then it kind of looked like a foiled eyeshadow. Which I thought was really pretty. So. <laughs> so now I'm going into the socket again so that I can just blend the two colours together so it looks nice and smooth. So now I'm going in with the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and the Colour Hot Fudge on a really tiny flat brush and just going along the lash line to kind of give the, the illusion of the eye eyelashes. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with my normal drugstore eyelash curler and I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lash mascara in glossy black and just putting a light coat on it because I'm going to put lashes on afterwards. I'm taking the cheapest eyelashes I've ever bought, which I really would recommend because they are amazing. They only cost two or three euros by Amazon. I will link them down below, but I must say, 
these are the best. If you're looking for really cheap, good, I definitely spend those two, three euros. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the Color Custard and a small stippling brush and just blending out underneath my eyes because it's going to be the base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Center Stage Foiled Eyeshadow, applying it with this flat defining brush underneath my bottom lash line. Just keep patting until you have that nice thick blue color and go all the way to the inner corner. Now to make it look more softer, I'm taking a MAC 213 brush and it's a bit bigger and just blending more of the colour underneath. Going in with a bit of the orange colour just to connect the colours a bit more and blend them all together. So now I'm taking this drugstore eyeliner from Trend It Up Contour and Glide and I'm just going to place this on my waterline and kind of drawing into my lashes as well to get that nice coverage. Now I'm taking the Modern Renaissance palette again with Real Girl and going right underneath that blue colour to make that kind of ombre effect. it out all the way to the back of the corner of your eye so that you can like kind of connect it with the top and this way the look looks yeah kind of more together so now I'm going in with a foiled eyeshadow onto the waterline this I find helps the eyeliner stay on all day I'm taking Yves Saint Laurent Mascara Veneer Contour in the color Trouble Blue. I'm just applying this to my bottom lashes. Now I'm taking Charlotte Tilbury's Black Mascara and just applying this to the tips of the ends of the lashes. I find this looks quite cool, it's a cool effect. Now I'm taking the Chanel palette again and I'm taking the Illumini highlight on a MAC 234 SE brush and just highlighting my brow bone. And now for my brows, I'm taking the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics in the colour Deep and I'm just filling in my brows following my natural shape. Always brush them in between to make it look more softer. Now to keep that all in place, I'm taking Maybelline's New York Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer and I'm just going over my brows. I try to get into every single hair so I stroke back and forth. This makes your eyebrows look more, more thicker and it definitely looks more realistic. I told you at the beginning of the video I already did my foundation and contour routine, so now I'm going straight onto my lips. I'm this drugstore lip liner by Trend It Up Contour and Glide lip liner, and it's in the colour 470, and it's a very natural nude tone, which I find amazing because I naturally don't have those big Kylie Jenner lips. I'm overdrawing my lips slightly to make them look more pouty.
finish the look, I'm taking Kylie Jenner's lip kit in the colour Exposed. It's a nice peachy tone, so I thought this would go well with the look. So, yeah. So I'm just taking my finger and just spreading it out. And after this, I would recommend to take a setting spray so that everything stays in place. And that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching.